Welcome back, neighbors. Say it's an eyesore and an epicenter for crime. An apartment complex in Mid City now shut down after neighbors banded together and filed complaints. WDS reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live from North Scott Street with more on what neighbors and leaders are demanding now. Shay. Gina and Sella, people who live in this area tell me that they've been witnessing suspicious characters going in and out of this building for months now. Now, it has provided some relief that the people who live here have been evicted, but many tell me they want to see the building torn down. There was a bunch of squatters in there, and I guess there are people that were living there, too. I mean, but there was a bunch of squatters that moved in, and... They were making themselves at home. Walter Johnson says he's seen a little of everything coming from the mid city eye lofts along North Scott Street. I don't know. This went on for too long, I guess, you know, and um, this is not the place for it. I mean, it's nothing around here for that, you know, but they were they were making themselves at home. He and other neighbors say they've witnessed a lot of criminal activity coming from the complex for months. We noticed some pretty scary characters appearing and then as time moved on, it looked like they had a chop shop set up inside of the parking lot. You'd look in and all the hoods would be raised. There was shoes thrown over the line above, which means, you know, drugs are being sold there. Neighbors say they saw a scene last week, people being escorted from the property. Councilman Joe Geruso says it was after a targeted effort by the city. Project NOLA installing crime cameras that also helped officials hone in on criminal activity coming from the property. They were able to keep particularly the business owners in the area as well as the neighbors routinely and regularly informed about what was happening. And so they would tell them about, we see people with guns, we see what looks like drug transactions. Records show Mid-City Ilofs have been owned by Josh Bruno since at least 2010. He owns several blighted properties across the city. Jeruso says it was discovered the tenants only paid cash to Bruno. Eviction served to occupants back in April. Walter says his hope is for quiet on his street. And it just stays peaceful, you know, and no, no thieves around here, you know. It's been pretty quiet here, you know. I shouldn't say anything, I'll freaking jinx it. And Project NOLA reports that this investigation resulted in several arrests and then also animals being rescued. We'll keep you updated on what happens next. Reporting live from Mid-City, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.